The Mona Lisa life be a singular success. Hi singers, this is LK Fletcher from The Mona Lisa Life and I want you to be a singular success. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking on Monday, Monday Methods for Singers, we're going to be talking about some of the elements of method acting that you can bring to your performance of everything you sing. This is important because whether you're a pop singer or you're an opera singer or a musical theater singer preparing a role, you have to be able to tell a story in a way that's convincing and that helps you to manage your nerves and to manage your story. And sometimes those are a conflict of interest. So we're gonna talk really about some of the conflict that happens when we're nervous. And I'm gonna give you two really simple steps that I think are gonna help you in managing uh, telling your story effectively. And I'm gonna ask if you will, go to our website, themonalisalife.com. We have tons of these tips and trips that we're so glad to share with our subscribers. So now let's talk about method acting for singers today, specifically some key elements for telling your story. And what we're gonna talk about, the two steps today are we're gonna call bookends. So we're gonna talk about the beginning of your story, which is your song, it's actually the moment that you step on stage or in front of the camera or an audience to tell your story and the very end. So every story, if you buy a book, you know, this is my notebook, but it has a cover. Mine just happens to have my name on it. But every book has a cover, an illustration that tells a little bit about what's going on in the story. And at the end, in a children's story, it's very simple. It says the end or there's a blank page and we look at the back of the book and guess what? It's blank. So we know that we have these bookends, the beginning and the end. So what we're talking about for singers is when you're telling a story, maybe you're singing, My Heart Will Go On. That's such an iconic Celine Dion, Dion, uh, Dion song from the movie and then the musical Titanic. And you can immediately envision the storyline and you see the girl standing on the balcony over the ship and her hair's blowing in the wind. That's a physical, visual image that is shared and created for anybody that's observed the movie or the musical and knows the song. Well, you need to do something similar with whatever you're singing. You could be singing The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow, the song Tomorrow from Annie, and you're a five-year-old singer, but I'm challenging you to say, first of all, create your opening, your, your front bookend. So that is, what do you look like on stage? Think about a picture as if you were making your cover illustration, maybe, it's you looking off in the distance and feeling hopeful. Or maybe it's you feeling dejected and curled in a little ball on the floor. I don't know, it's your story to tell because when you're the artist and you're doing a standalone piece, you're also the director. So create your opening. And then of course the ending is just as important. What's the final picture? How is your character changed and what does that look like on stage? If we went back to that song, um, Tomorrow, 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 I love you. Tomorrow, you're always a day away. It's a big triumphant ending and she's very excited. So you need to aim for that final picture. What is the physical image that represents that song? Those are your bookends, my friend. Front page, cover the book. What does it look like? What do you look like on stage and what is the story you're gonna tell? and then take us to the end and give us that great final picture that lets us know where you finished your story. I wish you all the best. Be a singular success.